Hello, hello, and welcome. <laughs> Ellie Jade here with Ascended Stars. This is your Taurus Oracle Journey reading, uh, and I hope everything's going well for you, Taurus. I was just inspired today to do your reading today, like right now. <laughs> um, all right, so let's see what's going on. I've already picked the cards to save time. Um, th you know, things are moving along. Mercury's going in all areas it's in the sun mars mercury is in its own sign and in virgo i mean i'm sorry and in venus <laughs> i just did virgo i guess i'm into the earth signs right now okay so what do we have for you we have chaos and conflict and uranus is messing messing you with you you know uranus went into taurus and it's retrograded and it's causing chaos. I really do think so. But we, it's a number three. I mean, it's a number 33. So um, I believe it has to do with relationships and the balance in this relationships. Okay, so not for you. Coming to terms with reality. That's what... Virgo season is right I mean not that you guys aren't realistic you're down to earth but um, there's a saying like when one door closes another door a window opens or another opportunity happens and it's like when in retrospect when you look back and that's another number six when you look back you think to yourself I'm glad that happened or I wouldn't have experienced this and I feel it in the in the form of a person yeah look at that there's a person right there in the window. It's like an image. So I feel it like in the form of a person for you. But I feel, and it's a chest. You see how it's a chest um, board? It has to do with how you've been raised and brought up and, and that fixed energy of yours, Taurus, where you... I feel like you've put time, energy, effort into something and you don't want to give it up. Like I put so much energy into something, so much effort. I'm not going to give up on it. And, and, and I feel like the universe is trying to tell you that this is the time to just relinquish it and um, stop beating a dead horse. I obviously, I, I just, I just feel this like stop beating a dead horse and surrender it with the um, energy of Neptune retrograde and Pisces. It's about surrendering the things that we can't fix, that we can't contend with anymore. That's come, that's, that's, that's lost its flavor, lost its season. Come to the edge. Wow. <laughs> this is like taking chances. This is like taking chances. And it's in romance. Look at that. It's in romance. Uh, it looks like it's asking you to step out of your comfort zone to um, explore a little more. And it's also, I feel it like um, a new energy. But I feel like this month is going to be hard because you're looking at the past. You're looking at this love from the past, this, uh, this thing that didn't work or this block or this obstacle or this... Uh, angst you're almost there you're almost uh to the full healing energy you really are but this is like the last this is almost like the nine of wands energy where you just have to keep on pushing and and this could be your project as well it's a number eight so let's see with love well let's see the ascended master which is helping lady nada oh i love it heart awakening Awaken to acceptance and divine love. Give and receive in balance. This is Venus in Mercury. So maybe you'll be able to communicate this month a little better um, about your feelings, your emotions, your sentiments. Yeah, you and, I, and also um, you have a lot of empathy for people or people feel your empathy or maybe they're gonna feel for you this month, this time. I'm open to seeing both sides of a situation. Yeah. Oh, this is what it is. Yeah. This is this is great. Okay. So, what you could not face before, what you could not 
confront before. Um, you're able to let go. And once we're able to let go of it and relinquish and release it, then it's not it's not painful anymore. It's not it's not um, controlling the that experience is not controlling our emotions. So then you can let go. Of, you're you're letting go of someone, something that has kept you um, from progressing. And it could be something over and over and over again. You've kept, you know, getting to this cycle. Wow. Saturn's going to go direct on September 18th. It's um, moving direct into Pluto. Represents Scorpio, deep unconscious truths. Um, so that that's this month. It's like some kind of epiphany of something in your heart center that stopped you from getting maybe the love that you want, the passion that you want, the job that you want, uh, something like that. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what we have. Honesty. Now, honesty came in reverse, came in upside down. Interesting. So being honest is a big theme. But I, I feel like if, if, if it comes in upside down, but you can't tell when I hold it, but you might choose love over being right. Okay, because that's what that's what relationships do. You might choose love over being right, like that that compromise of like, well, I'm right, you know, but I'm gonna love on this person even though they feel they're right, um, or they're in the wrong. I'm gonna love on them and not bring them to to their consequences because you have empathy. You're feeling maybe. more ability to expand your heart and hold the space of healing for them which you couldn't do before true love this is the romance of a lifetime could be also that the experience of your past love this new love now this 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 could be a new love coming in where you have so much empathy for this person um deep connection deep bond and what you lacked in the last relationship you have it now in uh, in full honesty in this relationship so what so maybe this is coming in reverse to say that what you lacked last time you learned how to apply to get it this time <laughs> right oh my goodness okay you've worked a lot on yourself you're meditating, you're focusing on what you want. Uh, you're very sensitive. You're highly, highly sensitive with the heart chakra and people's heart. Don't like the glare on there. Whoa, okay. And then the last one here, destruction. Now, what I like about this is that I feel that You've been brought down. This is the tower energy that everything broke down and now you're building something back up. You see, and it's like, like this little piece of land. It's just like, you're gonna nurture this. You're gonna grow this. This is gonna expand. It may seem like you have nothing or you're starting again from scratch or, but you have the wisdom and you know from these past experiences, from the cycles that you've gone through, how to move about in this new, um, connection i believe in love or relationships with others just interactions okay so let's see rest and rejuvenation this is um very exhausting energy that we're experiencing right now you know um a lot of people are waking up you also have to pull back your energy or pull back your reactions pull back your your emotions not to be reactive and people who meditate are very known for not being reactive because they've taken the time to center themselves before they hit that massive outside world that's going 100 miles an hour. So this is wonderful energy and, and um, 
advice for for the month of because there's a lot of nervous energy, a lot of mental stuff going on. The mind is is ticking, 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 not stopping with so many planets in Mercury. You have a man holding a coin. So this is someone who's takes life seriously, moves about pragmatically, um, thinks about the future. And I believe he's looking at you, Taurus, to be in that future with this individual, with them, with them. It's time for love. Yeah, this is a connection. You have such a, a really beautiful bond here, connection happening. Um, you're loving on yourself. A lot of love cards. A lot of love cards. Look at this. Lady Nana, Angel of Love. This month is letting go of what didn't serve you and what you almost destroyed you. It didn't destroy you. It made you stronger, but it did feel like something almost destroyed you here. In your recent past, um, in this oracle spread of who's watching this. Now let's see. It's a big shift happening, okay? Taurus, this shift is happening. Uranus is going back opening expanding our heart jupiter in sagittarius moving forward this is expansion of the heart okay you rule you're ruled by venus uranus is going retrograde in the sign of your of taurus your ruling planet is venus so now your your heart is expanding in ways that you don't think that were possible your the, the universe is forcing you to go back and look at things situations with fresh eyes fresh perspective go about it in a more loving way perhaps that what we were conditioned not to use before and now that we have the second opportunity taurian venusian energy coming in beams of rays of love um being able to communicate being able to connect being able to find like-minded others is is something super powerful so the heart is expanding for my tauruses okay this is beautiful energy such beautiful energy and lastly i'll give you three oracle cards angel cards but i'll leave this um gem crest, crystal crystal oracle it's amber so we have ancestors here that are, are really much are really uh providing a lot of guidance a lot of enlightenment for you my ancestors are guiding and loving me now and always i'm open to receive their support and wisdom so Two things I'm picking up could be someone from a past life that comes in. Now's the time. Another thing is um, your answers might have brought you two together and been helping this come along on their side on your side and um i forgot the other one i think that was the one well anyway so this is beautiful beautiful energy so i'm gonna pull three angel cards for you and see what the guidance is and let's um wrap it up and then also if you want so the tarot part of this um reading which i'm gonna post for free on the vimeo all the all the tarot readings are going to be on my vimeo, vimeo channel ascended stars dash vimeo or vimeo the link is below at the show book more box um and we can get into it with the tarot so this is going to be enchantment oh this is a beautiful lovely light-hearted energy but it's like with the unicorn believe in magic believe that love's going to come in something that is meant intended for you um, meditate on this person coming to you uh, believing in it seeing it experiencing it because um, music will help facilitate it and I just switched those but oh well oh and divine timing OMG I love that I'm leaving you with this last message divine timing yes everything is happening in its meant to happen timelines 
So I wish you the best. Um, go ahead and, and reach out on the Vimeo channel I have there. Uh, and I will have a collection of some poetry there that is well uh, being established. Uh, so thank you very much, and I hope you have a good month. I'll be connecting hopefully very soon, rather sooner than later. Much love and light.